jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis I hope you're well Please remember to only listen when you can safely close your eyes surface, you know, a bed or whatever feels comfortable for you, or you can sit down in a chair, one that supports your body, one that you are able to sleep in. some people you may need to sit up in bed which is perfectly fine because it's not about the position that you are physically it's about where you are in your mind it's about how you feel in your mind that affects how you feel in your body and if you listen to these recordings regularly you'll know that listening to my voice whispering in your ear can be very relaxing be like an off switch you know like a light turning the light off turning off stress turning off any kind of anxiety that might have been there before turning, turning, turning off the uh, worries of the day so that your body naturally starts to relax your body naturally starts to just go back into the, the natural state of calmness which is your body our bodies are naturally relaxed laying down or sitting in a comfortable chair is a trigger to feel relaxed and sometimes you don't feel quite how uptight you might have been until you start to relax start to really experience that sensation of those different body parts letting go the muscles releasing it's almost like you've had a big relaxation serum spine and your whole body becomes floppy and you can really start to appreciate that sense of pleasure that is gained from feeling relaxed because as I've said in the past Just that feeling of comfort and pleasure you get from lying down on your bed. Your head touches the pillow, your body automatically starts to relax and, and your mind slows down. So that chitter chatter and that constant in the past and the long 
candy floor. 
what's in our mouth because we need to be able to breathe and sleeping is just as natural as breathing in fact even when physical issues arise in life sleeping is still the most natural thing out of everything sleeping is the one thing that everybody can do whether or not they believe it this is fact to sleep that's fact that's not an opinion we were born able to sleep you look at any baby anywhere in the world a newborn baby that's lived a you know it's living in a, a happy life and things are going okay babies fall asleep while they're eating Babies fall asleep while they're talking or while they're playing. They literally can fall asleep in it like five seconds. Because it's totally, totally automatic. children is we try to teach them to do something they already know how to do automatically by giving them bedtimes or sleep breaks at school so little children are all like go to sleep for half an hour or an hour when they're in play school or just starting six o'clock in the evening and they don't want to go to bed because they're not tired yet and that's when that that conflict seems to start and I think the fact that it's automatic seems to get lost seems to be forgotten and we're brought up being told you should sleep at 8 o'clock in the evening you should be in bed by 10 you need to sleep 8 hours you need to be up at this time in the morning and there's very little we can do about the perhaps the getting up in the morning part if you've got a job to go to or school or college university or wherever that's part of your life maybe getting up at a certain time but when you get back in touch with your natural ability to just fall asleep start to change and even if perhaps you're not tired for whatever reason you can lay down on your bed and just enjoy the pleasure that comes from feeling relaxed enjoy the pleasure of just being lazy you know in your mind you can say oh, I'm just going to lazy for, for a while enjoy the pleasure of not caring if you fall asleep or not
automatic you can't force it at the same time you can't stop it either because we all have to go to sleep at some point all of us no one can stay awake forever and I've, and I've had jobs where I've had to stay up for long time periods and eventually I've had to go to sleep I was a security guard and I fell asleep because they asked me to do a double shift I was sitting at a desk, I fell asleep and they suspended me but my body didn't, I couldn't stay awake because your body forces you and your mind will force you to go to sleep at some point so you can't force yourself to stay awake indefinitely and you can't force yourself to go to sleep it doesn't work like that just like you can't look up at the sky and control the clouds the best way to enjoy the clouds is to just enjoy what they're doing naturally because if you're lying down staring at the clouds trying to you know, get angry because they're not moving to the left or they're not moving to the right you're not going to enjoy watching the different shapes arise in the sky which can be extremely relaxing so you can't force yourself to fall asleep can't force yourself to like eating a certain food if you like something or you don't I know our tastes change over time maybe but sleeping is a natural occurrence and the most we can really do Possibly the best thing that we can do is just prepare the most ideal circumstances. For example, lying down on a comfortable bed that supports your body. Well, you know, your body relaxes deeply and your mind slows down. is a sign to your unconscious mind that it's okay to go to sleep it's safe to go to sleep because you wouldn't want to fall asleep whilst riding a bike or driving a train or doing something like that because it wouldn't be safe so you need to give your unconscious mind the signal that it's fine to go to sleep it's like the green light. Is it green? Yeah, it's basically go. You can go to sleep whenever you're ready because I'm safely supported on the comfortable bed. There's nothing to think about, nothing to do, nothing needs your attention. just focus on feeling that pleasure that comes from relaxing deeply really relaxing deeply and really experiencing that pleasure and then your unconscious mind that process that controls your heart your blood flow, your blood pressure all those things that are outside of your conscious awareness you just lay there and allow that 
to happen naturally. And it happens automatically in its own time whilst you're focusing on the pleasurable experience. 